welcome back i added like 38 skills to my game and put them all over this skill tree it's like on the roots it's pretty cool thematically i think but something that i wanted to point out is in unity when you create buttons the navigation is set to automatic and this visualize button here that's what shows you how all the buttons connect and you can see it, it, it they connect uh so when all these buttons were automatic it was kind of a web and it didn't work very well so i had to go in and this is a pro tip don't leave them on automatic unless you have the buttons in a grid because some of these buttons are going to connect in really weird ways and it's gonna feel it's gonna feel wrong so change it to none then explicit lock the button you're on so that way you can click on the other game object buttons and drag them into the navigation locations you want and it's also good because some buttons like this button up here you don't want anything for when it goes up or whatever also i have this continue button and all of the buttons had a way to get to the continue button through the navigation but i would actually want you to get to the continue button if you're using a controller it would be like the b button and another tip is if you want one of these buttons to be selected by default for example the first skill you can go into your events system and here in the event system there is a first selected so that way you can decide what the first selection is and that's great for having a menu that starts on the bottom or the top on the left or the right whatever you want <laughs> when you create a button in unity by default it's set to color tint but color tint is kind of boring so i like to set it to animation and then in the animation we can go here to animation this button will have a disabled highlighted press uh, uh, selected etc and what i did is i created this um this cool animation over here and as you can see these like arrows fade in and i think that's really good for a visual cue to know what button is selected a good practice is to make your buttons a prefab that way if you want to update the animation or the look of your button you don't have to go through your whole game updating each one individually I have this juicy <laughs> unlock particle effect and I think changing the color to gold is so satisfying it makes it look so good when you unlock all these skills and check it out if you start going lower on the skill tree the camera pans down and up it's kind of fun that's some good juice and if you're working on UI stuff I have a whole bunch of free pixel art assets that you can use in your game link in the description if you don't know who I am, I'm a struggling indie game dev and this next project is kind of going to be a make or break for me. So please check out the link in the description to the Kickstarter. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time. A dev live. Subscribe. That's some good juice. That's some good juice.